Farmers in our western counties are keeping a close eye on the forecast. Tonight's expected rain will be welcome for sun, but still not enough. Not close. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne is live in the town of Aconwalk with how one farmer is pressing on despite the drought. Yeah, and I spoke with several farmers today, and they all compared this drought to one of the worst in recent memory from back in 1988. But the farmer who owns this field here in the town of Oconomowoc says this may be the driest in his family's history. Six generations have worked in these fields. Ken Rose now has his heart in these fields. This farm has been in our family for a long time. And his head in the clouds. I think one of the driest years, in fact, since the late 1800s. Rosenau's Cedar Home Farm spans 900 acres in Waukesha County. He says he's lucky. As you can see, it looks like pretty good corn. Even in the middle of a drought. There's farmers that are telling me this is the worst crop they've ever seen. Uh, on their farms. Kevin Krenz is the president of the Wisconsin Farm Bureau. Even on my own farm, you can go a couple of miles and where it has gotten timely rain and where it has not uh, been timely rain is extremely different. Fox 6 Chief Meteorologist Rob Haswell says our area is between two and two and a half inches of rain below average for the season. And it's going to take quite a few slow, steady rainfalls to get that soil back to where it needs to be in a natural fashion. Haswell says the drought is worse further west in places like Jefferson and Dane County. Rose now pays extra for genetically modified crops that don't need as much water. But he fears his harvest will have to come weeks earlier than normal. I wish it would rain, though. <laughs> and Rose now says one thing that's helped over the years, he doesn't till his fields anymore. He says not tilling them actually locks in moisture and delivers a better, healthier crop. Reporting live in the town of Oconomowoc, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. We're all hoping for them. Brett, thanks.